Hey everybody, it's State Representative John Hoadley with a quick budget and brief. So we just got done with the Consensus Revenue Estimating Conference. We held a rare third crack in, during the year. And the outcome was some good news, but some words of caution. So let's put the good news up front. Michigan's economic uh, recovery is moving faster than people anticipated. That meant that we saw higher car sales and sales tax collection, and we saw more people um, funding with income, income tax withholdings than they normally would. So that meant that the gap that we're left to fill coming into the next fiscal year is much smaller than what people anticipated. But at the same time, there's a lot of risk. We don't know if there's going to be a second spike. There's a lot of questions about what's going to happen out of D.C. in terms of economic policy. And so as a result, we are cautiously optimistic that we can move a very flat budget forward, but not necessarily with a lot of certainty. And what that also means then is that families who need us to be doing more right now, at a time when we should be investing more in schools, it might be harder to do so because of inaction from D.C. But here's the other thing I think that is inspiring that's coming out of our recent economic reports. When we put money into working people's pockets and we make sure that they can afford for, to spend money on themselves and their families, our entire economy does better. That's what the results were showing us. By investing both in the PPP program but also the enhanced unemployment benefits, we saw that economic activity increased in the state of Michigan. And I think that's a recipe for, that we can use as we move forward. But that's your budget in brief.